This is 10 News with Natasha Belling. We begin tonight with some very sad news. Peter Harvey has long been part of the DNA at Channel 9. But more than that, Peter has been a pillar of Australian journalism and broadcasting. Sadly, today he lost his battle with cancer. His courage inspiring all of us right until the very end. Sandra Sully has this tribute. One and only land. Peter Harvey was the gentleman of Australian journalism, a household name. A constant, enduring remembrance of things. While he started out as a copy boy, he quickly ditched newspapers for television news, carving out a name for himself in Canberra. The affable, likeable and respected journo was soon rubbing shoulders with the country's most powerful leaders, befriending them and breaking stories. And it was during those days that his baritone sign-off became legendary in the gallery and beyond. Always loved, sometimes lampooned. Peter Gravy, cut raw. A keen wit, a wry smile, Harves didn't mind having a laugh, even at his own expense. I'm the real Peter H. There ain't no other He certainly wasn't a musical talent, but rather a scout for the next big thing. He educated me on many of those uh, long flights at the back of the Prime Minister's plane. In fact, I think that's where I first got to really appreciate Pink Floyd. <laughs> His was a career that spanned 50 years, and while politics was in Peter's blood, it was his passion for people and telling their stories that really defined him. He was a newsman's newsman in the sense that no story was beneath him, and whatever story he did, he had the Harvey touch. And that endeared him to everyone. When diagnosed with pancreatic cancer last year, the response was humbling. It made me feel very grateful. I, Jane, I have been absolutely overwhelmed, overwhelmed by the support and the reaction from people around this country. It's been extraordinary. Colleagues and friends all reflect on his extraordinary dedication to his job during his darkest days, filing stories for the news, 60 Minutes and the Today Show while undergoing weekly chemotherapy. I'm not going to let fears and worries um, about tomorrow ruin my today. I'm not. You know, just take the most out of each day for as long as I possibly can. And he certainly did that. Peter Harvey, Canberra.